Hi, you guys. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do pages out of your workbook. I'm trying to get this focus just right. And it's going to be pages four and five. If you'd like to have your notebook open, that's great. If you'd like to tear them out, they are hole punched so that you can put them into your notebooks. Okay. So as we go through these pages, the note taking with vocabulary, I expect you to be writing in here. This is auto focus. Can you tell? Okay. Come on now. Um, so like I've already started writing right here where it says point, line, and plane. These are the three undefined terms. And I went through the symbols. Once we get down to defined terms, which are segment and ray on the next page. So this is really ridiculous. This is auto focus. Can you tell? Okay. Come on now. Um, so like I've already started writing right here where it says point, line, and plane. These are the three undefined terms. And I went through the symbols. Once we get down to defined terms, which are segment and ray on the next page. So this is really ridiculous. It's not focusing. Okay. All right, geometry scholars, what we're going to do is go through your journal, 1.1. And as we go through the core concepts, you're going to be taking notes on the previous sheet, which says note taking with a vocabulary. So I've already started with the undefined terms of point A, that's the symbol. Line L, there's two different ways to represent that. Plane ABC or plane M, those two representations. This has no dimension, this has one dimension, and these have two dimensions. Plus, don't forget, I already gave you the Quizlet deck where you can be practicing your vocabulary every day. This chapter is almost all vocabulary. Collinear points means two lines on the same point, uh, on <laughs> two points on the same line. Collinear points on the same line. Coplanar points are points on the same plane, and there has to be at least three of those. Then we get to do fine terms that are called segments and rays. Okay, a line segment obviously is a part of a line, and we usually just call them segments, and it is represented with two dots at the end, meaning it does not go on. Like a line goes on forever, a segment does not. So let's say this is AB, and we label them that way. You can write it as segment AB with a little line over it. You actually can also write it as BA with a line over it, because that's the same length, it is the same distance. And then A and B are the endpoints. These are endpoints. Now, a ray starts at one end with a dot, and then it goes another direction. So the arrow on it shows a direction. So let's say this is ray AB. Okay, A is terminal. That is an endpoint. It doesn't go past there. But because B has an arrow, this means it goes forever in the direction of B. So when you write ray AB, you must put the dot side on the A and the arrow side on the B. It is not correct to say BA. So that does matter. So if you wanted to write a ray like this, if this were B and this were A, then you could write B and then the arrow goes over the A. Opposite rays are like a straight line. Okay, so one's going this direction, so let's call this X and let's call this D. And let's call this E. Okay, so if I start at X and I go toward D, 
in other words, that direction. If I start at X and I go toward E, then the arrow goes over there, then those are opposite rays. Okay, anytime you have an intersection of anything, like um, two lines, so say we have two lines, this is line L and this is line M, again represented with a small cursive letter, then they intersect at point P. That is the intersection. Now you can also have planes intersect, but if you think about it, like if it was two pieces of paper, planes would intersect in a line. You can also have a line intersect with a plane, and that's where it intersects there. So you just have to be careful with your pictures. Of course, these pictures are all shown here, even though I've just been talking about them. A point with no dimension, a line, a plane. Write any notes you want. You want to make sure you remember that these are undefined terms. Okay, and you also want to make sure that you remember that a segment array are defined. So segment ray and opposite rays. This is what's going to be nice about this journal. You're going to have all your notes in there. And then we're going to go over um, page six in your journal together right now. And then you are going to do a worksheet on your own for practice. Okay, so when it says give two other names for line C, D, okay? So line C, D is here, and you can say that it is line M because this little letter is right here, line M, or you could also say line D, C, which if you write this symbol, you don't really have to write this symbol. You don't have to write the word line, so you can either write symbol that. Give another name for plane M. Okay, plane M is the gray square. Here's plane M. So you have to name three points in the plane, A, B, and E. You could also do C, but it has to be non-collinear. So if A and B are on the same line, then you have to use E. So you could say plane A, B, E is another way to say that. Name three points that are collinear. So these are on the same line. The only three points on the same line here are A, B, and C, because C, D only has two. So A, B, and C, and you're going to put a little point in front of them. Now, if I want to name a fourth point that is not collinear with these points, then I would say point D. D is not collinear. You could also say D. because they're not on the same line. Okay, name a point that is not coplanar with A, C, E. So A, C, and E, these are all inside plane M. The only other point that we have labeled that's not there is D, so this is gonna be point D. Hopefully you're getting this. Okay, now we're gonna use this diagram here to find another name for PQ. So here's PQ. I look up here, there's a little J. So this is line J. Another name for RS, so here's RS, it's line K. Name all rays with endpoint T. Okay, here's T. This is a point, even though it's not a little black dot there, it's always a point. And then the rays are gonna be from here to here. That's T, P with the arrow over the P. TR, arrow over the R, TQ, arrow over the Q, and TS, arrow. Which of these rays are opposite rays? So TR is opposite, TS, and TP is opposite. TQ. On the diagram, draw planes M and N that intersect at line K. So here is K. 
And what we're going to do is we want to draw two planes that intersect there. So there's a number of ways you can do this. I'm just going to draw a box like around K and call it M. And then this one is going to be where they intersect. So if you think about it coming out of the page, they're going to intersect like that. It's going to be kind of hard to draw, but I'll do what I can. This is why I like to use pencil, actually, and then I'll just dash it. This can show that it is behind, and then that's going to be labeled N. Not perfect, but it's pretty close. But if I use pencil, it doesn't show up in the video, so we'll do what we can. Okay, so that's the picture. And then last, sketch the figure describe. I want a segment to AB, there's no arrows, and, okay, so segment A, B, and then BC is a ray, so, you can continue from here in any direction. Okay, I'll just continue like this so that C is here. There's segment AB and there's B and C. And I want line K in plane M. So a plane always looks like this. I'll label it M. And I've got a line right in it. So it looks like it's in it. And I label it with a little K. So that's it for now. I'm going to be assigning you another one to do on your own. Rewatch this as many times as you need.